What's good YouTube? It's Kai and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, if you enjoy videos on self-help, becoming your best version, dating advice and more, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Your help will be very appreciated. Now, I've um, got some good news. Um, I've got some stuff that's on its way. So I'm going to be upgrading my sort of setup. Um, you know, bit by bit, you're going to see the improvement. So slowly but surely, you know, the production will get a lot better and you know, we're going to take this to a whole new level as well, you know, um, and shout out to KV Jones as well, because we've been in the works talking about some stuff we're working on. So look out for that. But um, today I want to talk about going for people that actually match your energy. You know, I think it's so important to go for people that are going to match your energy or if not show the high level of interest, those people that are consistent the people that really want to spend time with you, the people that don't want to play games are going to be the people that, you know, that are really there. Because a lot of the time, you know, people might do this thing where they're high interest for a while and then, you know, randomly just disappear, flake, ghost or whatever the case may be. And you're thinking to yourself, what the hell is going on? Like, why is this person all of a sudden changed? And sometimes it's to do with not necessarily you, but their interest and what they're doing because especially nowadays people are entertaining multiple offers so sometimes someone could feel that there's someone better than you and they feel like to replace you with someone else and that's just the harsh reality of it you know if you've done your best you've tried to communicate with the person you've done everything you've could but they're not interested best thing to do is just to leave them where they are like there's no point of you running around chasing people that don't want you you have to put yourself in a space where people respect you and, you know, they, they don't want to lose you because they know what value you bring to the table. So for those people that don't value you as a person, you have to let them go. Like be with someone that matches your energy, if not even go beyond your energy and gives you that positive vibe, that good energy. And even when someone, you know, when you and someone are not really agreeing with certain things, you guys can communicate effectively and put your egos to a side because a lot of the time people have this ego clash and this person even if they know they're wrong they want to be right just to make themselves feel better so you have to make sure that you're getting someone that communicates very effectively towards you as well you know people get it twisted like in a relationship it's not about who can outdo who it's teamwork it's partnership Hence why people say my partner. If you're working as a team, then you shouldn't be battling against each other. Like I get it, it happens sometimes, you know, you might not see eye to eye, but you have to put your ego to a side and come to some sort of conclusion. Sometimes it's easier than others, but you have to sort of figure it out. Teamwork is never 100% easy, but you know, if you don't try, then you won't get anywhere. And if you give up, give up very easily, then you're not going to get anywhere either. So I just want you guys to bear that in mind. You know, don't project your high interest in someone if they're not putting in the work. Like, don't be blinded by the minimal effort and the minimal things that they do. See how they are when things get rough. You know, when things are not going the best. Or when you have difference of opinion and then you really see the character of that person. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, and I'll see you again. Take care.